Dr. Craig Summers here to talk about the dark side of whey protein. You see, whey protein is actually a byproduct of cheese manufacturing. The industry has globular protein of whey left over after cheese manufacturing, and rather than dump it, they find a way to market it and to sell it. However, consumption of whey protein has been linked to several unwanted health conditions, most of which doctors and people are just unaware of. Whey is produced in three different forms, isolate, concentrate, and hydrolysate. They have different sized protein particles and contain different amounts of protein by volume. All of them have been shown to have the following negative health effects. Whey protein can have a dangerous effect on our immune system for those of us that have even a mild allergy to milk protein. Most of us unknowingly have a mild dairy allergy, and when it enters our bloodstream, our immune system attacks the whey proteins just like it would attack a pathogen. The result is that we can get a variety of different symptoms. If the affected system is our respiratory system, runny nose and or mucus in the lungs are two of the many symptoms that may occur. If the allergic reaction in our body occurs in the skin, rashes or puffy skin may occur. Don't expect a medical doctor to diagnose it. Most MDs have no training in diagnosing whey protein allergies. For those of us that have even a mild case of lactose intolerance, which is at least 60% of the population, digestive problems are another dark side. Whey protein concentrate is what remains when liquid whey is dried. It usually contains more than 50% lactose. For the majority of the human race, the enzyme that digests the sugar occurring in cow's milk called lactase stops being produced between the ages of 2 and 5 years old. Therefore, when the undigested sugars reach the intestine, they undergo bacterial fermentation, producing gas that can cause bloating, cramping, flatulent, nausea, and even diarrhea in some individuals. Other possible symptoms may include fatigue, irritability, and headaches. There are many choices in hypoallergenic protein powders available, so why not make the investment in yourself and get a quality product rather than a byproduct?